If you're not making any money with print on demand, it's probably because you're not creating products that people are actually wanting to buy. They need to be in demand. Now recently, unless you've been living under a rock, you may have noticed a new trend that's popped up over the past week. And that is the Hawk Tour Girl. Oh, oh you, you gotta give him that Hawk Tour and spit on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> now, this girl was out obviously having a bit of fun, but what came from that interview was a new phrase that went ultra viral, and that was Hawk Tour. Now, if you've been in print on demand for a minute, you know that as soon as these viral phrases come out, people are going to jump onto them and start creating products. So if we take a look over on Etsy, we can see straight away that people are creating these products. And what I found very interesting is there's designs over here that not only jump on the Hawk Tour trend, they're also bringing in the US elections as well. So for this design in particular, Hawk Tour 24 spit on that thing, we can see in the last few days they made over $1,300 in sales. And if we take a look at a couple of other designs as well, we can see they're also in demand. Now another phrase that stood out is if she don't hawk to her, I don't want to talk to her. And that is quite a funny take on that phrase already. So what I want to do to create something new in the marketplace is take something like this and apply it to a different design. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how to create that design on Canva, upload it to a supplier so that as soon as those orders come in, they're being sent out, delivered to our customer, leaving us with the profit. And the best part is because it is a trend, whether you're running Facebook, Facebook ads, you're putting on Etsy, TikTok shops or whatnot, you're going to make money. So let's get into it. So the product I want to create is for a t-shirt first and foremost, but it can easily be put onto a coffee mug as well. So in Printify, I'm just looking for the t-shirt, men's unisex, and we'll go the Gildan 5000 because we know people love it, they buy it, and they keep buying it. I'm going to choose manually who I'm going to use to sell it, and I'm going to use Monster Digital. What we're looking for here is just the, the canvas size that we need to be able to create this design. 4,500 by 5,100 pixels. Now we've got what we need to go and start creating this design. Now back on Etsy. So I'm gonna use this design here as the inspiration to create my own version of it. So coming back over into Canva, I've created that, that canvas size. I'm gonna put some lines on here to start. Thicken them up up here. We'll change the color as well to red. And it looks like a bit of a Times New Roman sort of font they're using over there. Something similar, it's a serif font. It's emulating those election shirt designs. So Times. That way I can make it bigger without affecting the rest of it, the design. I'm gonna send that one to back so I can grab this line. One thing I don't like, and I'm yet to figure out how to fix it, is it snaps whenever you do that line. It's really quite frustrating. So I'll make this one smaller. Bring the rest onto it. If she don't. I don't want to talk. She don't hook to her 24, I don't want to talk to her, is what we're going for. And I'm going to put a little American flag in there.
And there we go. We've got a design based on the inspiration we found over on Etsy. So once you're happy with the design, make sure you download that transparent PNG. Then come back over to Etsy. And we're gonna use that sand colored shirt, yellow haze, natural. Once you're happy with that, go save product. There we go, looks pretty official. Fantastic, save the selection. So I'm gonna check out what they use for the name. Name it and then go hide in store just so it goes into your draft listings and go publish. Now what I'm gonna do is look for a Gildan 5000 mock-up in that natural color. Once you've found a design you like download, I like this one because it looks quite authentic. So I'm just gonna buy that. So whilst that file's downloading, I'm gonna create a thumbnail for Etsy based on that. So download that file, gonna upload it in there. We don't want to over optimize that listing when we're first putting a design up because what happens is we can end up spending a hell of a lot of time optimizing listings when they never go on to make any sales. So we want to be very mindful of that. The other thing with this is we want to do a different, a few different variations. So not just this one, we want to do, you know, five to 10 different variations of this phrase because the chances of your first one being a home run is unlikely. And that is the key to print on demand is making sure that we're creating variations and different options for people to buy. So that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to download that. And now I'm pulling that to curtains and showing you exactly how this business works in my free training so you can set it up too if you want to. I focus on helping busy parents get this set up because I know how hard it is to balance the work and family life and I want more families to have that freedom and time together. If you want to start an online e-commerce business that does provide for your family to create more freedom and security, you're going to want to watch my free 30-minute training now. See you there. Now back on Etsy, it's going to be in your draft listings. So this is where we want to optimize it further. I'm going to remove all the designs that don't show anything with the design on it. I'm gonna bring in that mock-up that we just created, that thumbnail. And I'm just going to crop it so when it does crop, it actually takes the right part of the image. Go apply. A good thing to have in here as well is the size chart. So I'm just uploading that size chart now. make it your second image because that's naturally what people want to know is if they're happy with that shirt they want to know they're going to get the right one and then once it starts selling then you can add different mock-ups as well to help sell that product so the other things that we want to do so i'm going to copy this and go into chat gpt i'm going to ask it to rewrite this with american patriotism and the the hilarity of the the hawk to a girl combined please rewrite the following. All right, looks good to me. Make sure you go through, read it, come back in the Etsy, paste it. This is where you can add extra tags that people would be looking for as well. We come back over to those shirts. What we're going to see is with Everbee, we can see what tags they're actually using to rank. So if we copy this one and come back to our listing and then put our tags in. Remove the, any that don't make sense. Try and use all tags. All right, 
product. So we wanna make sure that we've got the pricing set where we want as well. I'm just gonna update that. I'm gonna mark it at $29.99, but I'm gonna run a 30% off sale. Physical item, make sure your production partner is selected. Sleeve length, short sleeves, and make sure all the attributes are put in as well. Once you're happy with that, make sure you preview it. And there we're going to see it. If she don't hook to her, I don't want to talk to her. Cool. Alrighty, so I'm happy with that. So hit publish with changes. 